If black holes are black, how do scientists know they are there? What is a black hole? A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. But gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can't see black holes. They are invisible. Space telescopes with special tools can help find black holes. The special tools can see how stars that are very close to black holes act differently than other stars. How big are black holes? Black holes can be big or small. Scientists think the smallest black holes are as small as just one atom. These black holes are very tiny, but have the mass of a large mountain. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff in an object. Another kind of black hole is called stellar. Its mass can be up to 20 times more than the mass of the sun. There may be many, many stellar mass black holes in Earth's galaxy. Earth's galaxy is called the Milky Way. The largest black holes are called supermassive. These black holes have masses that are more than 1 million suns together. Scientists have found proof that every large galaxy contains a supermassive black hole at its center. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is called Sagittarius. It has a mass equal to about 4 million suns and would fit inside a very large ball that could hold a few million Earths. How do black holes form? Scientists think the smallest black holes formed when the universe began. Stellar black holes are made when the center of a very big star falls in upon itself or collapses. When this happens, it causes a supernova. A supernova is an exploding star that blasts part of the star into space. Scientists think supermassive black holes were made at the same time as the galaxy they are in. If black holes are black, how do scientists know they are there? A black hole cannot be seen because strong gravity pulls all of the light into the middle of the black hole. But scientists can see how the strong gravity affects the stars and gas around the black hole. Scientists can study stars to find out if they are flying around or orbiting a black hole. When a black hole and a star are close together, high-energy light is made. This kind of light cannot be seen with human eyes. Scientists use satellites and telescopes in space to see the high-energy light. Could a black hole destroy Earth? Black holes do not go around in space eating stars, moons and planets. Earth will not fall into a black hole because no black hole is close enough to the solar system for Earth to do that. Even if a black hole the same mass as the sun were to take the place of the sun, Earth still would not fall in. The black hole would have the same gravity as the sun. Earth and the other planets would orbit the black hole as they orbit the sun now. The sun will never turn into a black hole. The sun is not a big enough star to make a black hole. How is NASA studying black holes? NASA is using satellites and telescopes that are traveling in space to learn more about black holes. These spacecraft help scientists answer questions about the universe. Why are they important? Not only do black holes explain the seemingly chaotic movements of some stars and help make sense of our galaxy, but they represent a new realm of physics for scientists. Einstein's theory of general relativity 6 states that matter warps time and space, creating what we call gravity and black holes are incredibly dense conglomerations of matter, hence their incredible gravitational pull. But from there on in, quite literally, they put Einstein's theory to the test. When we look at the center of a black hole, the singularity, it gets complicated. The forces at play there are so immense that science can't agree about what happens next. Einstein's general relativity says that when matter is pulled into a black hole, its information is destroyed, but quantum mechanics says that cannot happen. As a result, black holes are an incredible theoretical playground for astrophysicists and mathematicians attempting to reconcile the two theories. From general relativity to quantum physics and string theory, black holes offer experts a testing ground for fundamental theories that explain how the universe operates 7. What would happen if you fell into one? So, the big question, what would happen if you fell into a black hole? Well, the prognosis isn't great, to be truthful, whichever sort of black hole you pick. If you leapt heroically into a stellar mass black hole, your body would be subjected to a process called spaghettification. The black hole's gravity force would compress you from top to toe, while stretching you at the same time. Thus, spaghetti 11. A supermassive black hole has a slightly less horrendous effect, so let's imagine then that you opt for one of these to make your giant leap for mankind and scientific research. Sagittarius is a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way, believed to be around 44 million km across and containing approximately 4.31 million solar masses. 12 It was discovered in 1974 by two astronomers, Bruce Balak and Robert L. Brown but remained unnamed until 1982.13 Your journey into Sagittarius itself would begin after you slip over the event horizon, the point of no return. You would be able to see out from inside, 
but no one would be able to see you because any light would fall back on you. The good news is that although the gravitational pull is much stronger than smaller black holes, the stretching tidal force is less, meaning you won't be turned into spaghetti. But the bad news is you wouldn't be able to get out. Point 14. Dot 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 or could you? Well, your hope lies in the theory of white holes. Put simply, if a black hole sucks things in, then a white hole spits them out again, wherever that may be, and the two are connected via an interdimensional tunnel, known as a wormhole. Or, it's also hypothesized, if you waited long enough, the black hole will turn into a white one, anyway. Why? Well, due to the intense gravitational forces within, time would be speeded up for you, so it would be over in a matter of milliseconds. Of course, at present, this is only a theory. Point 15. If you want more proof of the inadvisability of swan diving into a black hole, consider the tidal disruption picked up by three NASA telescopes in 2014. It was caused by a star that had come too close to a black hole at the center of a galaxy, about 290 million light years away. It was distorted, stretched, and shredded as it was sucked into the singularity, while the residue of the destroyed star was flung out in a cosmic belch 616. 